comic book movies we all love them right i've been seeing them since the christopher reeve days and i'm going to give you today my top 10 comic book moments let's get started now before i get started with my list i want to preface what the specifics are for qualifying for this list one nostalgia is not allowed Two, the moment has to transition genres. In other words, I have to forget I'm watching a comic book movie. You know what I mean. And three, I have to experience escapism. We've all been there. We've all been in a movie where we're feeling so connected to what's on screen. We totally forget that we're in a theater. We're surrounded by people. We just we're in the moment. Those are the pre-qualifications for my list. So without further ado, here's number 10. Miles Morales discovering himself. Who would have thought this moment, a cartoon, was probably, arguably, one of the best Spider-Man films out there? I mean, it's got Spider-Man, for Christ's sake, but that moment where Miles Morales is on top of that skyscraper, the music swelling, you hear the dialogue with all his mentors, his parents, all just reminding him that he's the one. He's got this power within him, and when he takes that leap of faith off the building, cinematically, the score everything it's a moment where i forgot i was watching a film i was just caught up in a character's development and him discovering himself Ooh, just get goosebumps thinking about it that's number 10 number nine is the entire movie experience while watching the dark knight never in my entire life up until that moment had i sat in the theater there's no score you see the batman symbol come up and you just hear this eerie tone I felt uncomfortable. I felt nervous. I didn't know what I was watching because it was unlike any other comic book film I had ever seen. So the entire movie going experience, my first time watching The Dark Knight, I was in that escaped plane. It totally transcended genres. It felt like an experience, which many films don't reach that level anymore. My number eight is Man of Steel's first flight. And just keep in mind, there's a common denominator with all my selections. Usually there's a musical swell involved in it. So FYI. But Superman taking his first flight is, to this day, I still get goosebumps. I love how it's shot. The camera's a bit rocky because it's his first time flying. You see him smile, enjoying himself. But just the swell of music, the change of scenery, him discovering his powers, and then him ascending into space in the clouds, it's beautiful. Every hero needs that hero moment, and that movie definitely captured it. So number eight is Man of Steel. My number seven is the Logan burial scene at the end of the film. Logan is another film like The Dark Knight where it transcended the comic book genre. And again, there's no nostalgia involved in this. It was just Logan, a character that we had known for about 20 years, played by the same actor, Hugh Jackman, brilliantly dies. And just how that shot is handled in his funeral as his daughter gets the cross, lays it over as an X, and the camera slowly just pulls in. I cried. I cried. It was a simple moment, a raw human emotional moment in us saying goodbye to a beloved character. My number six is Superman's first flight in the Richard Donner film starring Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve is obviously one of my heroes. I have an entire Superman sleeve dedicated to Superman. But as a kid, no special effects, no CGI, seeing him take flight for the first time, save Lois from the plane, She's like, who are you? A friend. And he takes off and he has that sequence of just flying. The whole marketing campaign of that film is that you will believe a man can fly. And as a kid, even as an adult to this day, the way Christopher Reeve is just acting, the way he's holding himself in that moment, the way he's just flying and how the camera in the background is just turning with him. I felt like a man was really flying. And again, that is my number six moment is Superman's first flight. And we're getting to the top five. If you like my list and you like what I'm saying, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know what you think. I'm really eager to hear your comments. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to disagree with me. But again, this is coming from a Gen Xer's point of view. I'm a little bit older. I'm more than sure older than a lot of you. So let's continue with the list. Number five is The Dark Knight Rises and Bane breaking Batman's back. Now, not all the moments I mentioned were not just fulfilling and just joyous. This was terrifying. For the first time in any comic book movie, I felt uncomfortable. And just seeing Bane beat down Batman in that scene, I was with my kids and I'm like, why did I bring him to this movie? I feel like a man's getting killed in front of us. That's how I felt watching it for the first time. I didn't feel like I was watching the movie. I just felt very, just creeped out of my mind. And especially when he goes, I was wondering what would break first. I was wondering what would break first. Ah! Your spirit. (laughs) 
All your money! Just as he breaks his back, there's no score. It's just the thud and echo of his body throughout the chamber, and it's silent. That was a creepy moment that transcended the genre. And that is my number five, Bane breaking Batman's back. Not many people talk about Dark Knight Rises anymore. It's like it's forgotten. That's one of the best comic book films out there. I actually like it, arguably, better than The Dark Knight. My number four is Thor arriving in Wakanda. Come on, that's epic. That's a joyous, epic moment. It was just a tease and a buildup that we were all expecting. The Avengers are about to be destroyed by these mutant mutant turtles. I don't know what the hell they were. And here comes Thor with Stormbreaker with uh, Groot and Rocket. But just Thor in his, all his majesty with his weapon right there in his Raimi Thanos. Come on, that's fucking awesome. Raimi Thanos! Then they ruined it with Love and Thunder. What is Marvel thinking? Those two Thors are not comparable. All right, now we're getting to the top three. My three is a recent film. It is Joker with Joaquin Phoenix as he gets the blood from his mouth and he makes that smile. Again, transcended the genre, total escapism. I was at a loss for words during that scene, especially as he stands on top of that car and just people are cheering him on. That camera slowly pulls back. I'm like, what am I watching? What is this? This is not a comic book film. This is something better. This is something greater. That scene, I remember when the movie was over, I sat in my chair silent for about five minutes. I'm like, just give me a minute. I don't want to get up yet. But that film had an impact on me. And just so you know, I have a lot of new subscribers now. Those are the type of film experiences I'm looking for. Of course, there's jokes and there's laughter and all these other emotions, but I want to forget I'm watching a film. And very few films nowadays do that now. A lot of them are fan service and Easter eggs, and that's all fun. I get it, but I want to forget I'm watching a film. And now to my top two. Number two is the endgame portal scene. Of course, it's going to be in my top two. That scene was the culmination of 10 years of just fan service. All of us were teased and edged for 10 freaking years. And here it is. All the comics, every hero that we've grown to love arriving here to fight Thanos in one last battle. And like, oh, God, I will never forget that moment because I had my kids with me. They had been with me since Iron Man 2, which I love as well. I don't know why people hate it. But just the, my kids to grow up with me, seeing my heroes and them enjoying these movies like I did, it's a wonderful moment that I'll take to my grave. And I want to thank the MC for giving us that. You fucked up phase four, but thank you for giving us that first phase. I, I, oh my God, I'll take it to my grave. And now to my number one. And my number one comic book moment of all time is Flash reversing time in Zack Snyder's Justice League. Think about it. Don't turn off the video yet, but think about this. We were never supposed to see this film. That scene was made in 2016, 2017. It was sitting in a hard drive at Warner Brothers Studio by some idiot decision. And no one was ever supposed to see this epic moment. And to see the Justice League fail, Dark Side arising, the bomb going off, and Barry phasing for the, before the explosion hits him. My God, why didn't I record a reaction video to that? We were never supposed to see this. And it turns out to be one of the most epic tear-jerking moments I've ever seen in my life. Quick story. Sean Chandler. Sean, you know, you know who he is. He invited me to go see it at his house. And I saw it with him. He's the only person that can describe my reaction seeing that film. So when I watched Zack Snyder's Justice League with Rudy, it was actually my second time watching the film. I'd watched it a day or two earlier. So watching it with Rudy was more like me doing a live in-person reaction or watching him as a live in-person reaction which uh itself is kind of an interesting thing to do to just like sit there and stare at someone while they watch a movie but he was just enjoying it so much and like also just had this awe and wonder of like why on earth was this cut why on earth did they replace this why on earth did this happen how did they why did they put the flash pushing a car instead of the flash turning back time this is insane so i knew to pause for those moments and then just had rudy's just like his eyes got big and he's just like almost bouncing in his seat like it just kept saying like why did they cut this why did they do this why why did they change this and i love sean for this because he didn't say a damn word while the moment happened he just let me enjoy it amazing amazing did not see it coming 
forgot I was watching a comic book movie. Totally forgot I was watching a movie. I was just so caught up in the emotional gravitas of that moment. The most epic moment, in my opinion, of all comic book movies. And thank you, Sean, for inviting me. Well, that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my list of the top 10 comic book moments of all time. This video is dedicated to Ashia Bishop. She is my fourth Patreon. I'm hoping for more. If you'd like to be one, the link is down below. Any contributions you give will go toward this channel, my TikTok channel, all platforms that I develop, and it will greatly be appreciated, and I'll give you a shout out in every single platform. But again, please subscribe if you like the video. Hit like. I want to hear your comments because I'm more than sure a lot of you are going to have different feelings about it. But remember the criteria. And as always, take care, everybody. I'll see you next time.